Ever since Prime Minister Modi visited Lakshwadweep during his official two-day visit, the archipelago of 36 islands have been the talk of the town. Many say it is the perfect Indian alternative to Maldives for tourism. But did you know that following India's independence, Pakistan attempted to take control of Lakshwadweep? However, thanks to the quick and decisive action taken by Sardar Vallabhai Patel, Lakshwadweep became a part of India. But how did he manage to stop Pakistan from gaining control over Lakshwadweep? Let's dive in to know the answer. But before that, please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to Money Control YouTube channel. Currently, Lakshwadweep is a uni district union territory consisting of 36 islands. The 32 square kilometer archipelago is famous for its exotic and sun kissed beaches and has a Muslim majority population. However, before becoming a part of the Indian territory, Lakshwadweep was ruled by several local rulers and foreigners like the Portuguese and the Britishers. India got independence from the British in 1947, but at the cost of partition. East Pakistan, present-day Bangladesh and West Pakistan were created based on religion as both had a Muslim majority population. Now, there was another Muslim majority area located 496 km off the coast of Kochi that was ignored initially. No price for guessing, it was Lakshwadweep. In fact, then it was known as Lakhidiv, Minikoy and Emni Devi Islands. The islands had a 93% Muslim population back then which was a low-hanging fruit from Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Soon after partition, Pakistan had an eye on Lakshwadweep and a ship bearing Pakistani flag was sent there. However, Sardar Vallabhai Patel, then the Deputy Prime Minister of Independent India, in charge of the Home and State Ministry, was informed about Pakistan's move. Sardar Patel was far-sighted and he knew that if a part of Pakistan was formed so close to the Indian territory, then it would forever turn out to be a security threat to India. Without wasting any time, Sardar Patel sent an urgent message to the Mudaliar brothers, Arkot Ramaswamy Mudaliar and Arkot Lakshman Swami Mudaliar, who had to convey to the collector of Travancore to instruct the police officials and employees to go to Lakshwadeep with whatever arms they had. The message was clear, to take the possession of the islands and hoist the national flag there. When the people from Travancore police reached Lakshwadeep and hoisted the Tiranga, they found a ship with Pakistani flag sailing towards Lakshwadeep to take over the Muslim majority area in the Arabian Sea. The Pakistani dream to capture Lakshwadeep was shattered after they saw the Indian national flag hoisted on the islands and preferred to take a U-turn. This incident took place immediately after India gained independence in August 1947 and when the British left and Pakistan took the shape of a Muslim state. After Lakshwadeep became a part of India, it was made a part of the Malabar district. On November 1, 1956, during the reorganization of Indian states, Lakshwadeep was separated from the Malabar district. It was given the status of a union territory for administrative purposes. On November 1, 1973, the name of the 36 islands were changed from Lakhidiv, Miniko and Amin Devi Islands to Lakshwadeep Islands, which means 100,000 islands in Malayalam and Sanskrit. Today, we should thank Sardar Patel, the Mudiliar brothers and the officials of Travancore, now Kerala, for their efforts to save Lakshwadeep from Pakistan. Due to their efforts, Lakshwadeep has turned into an attractive tourist destination and helped India avoid security threats in that region.